Hello and welcome to another tutorial on uh, Unix services. Today we are going to go over a fairly simple service, uh, FTP. Uh, this allows you to access files either through a local network, otherwise uh, over the internet. Uh, not entirely securely, uh, unless you use uh, you know your your certificates, but this way you would have access and you can uh, limit other users from accessing your files by enabling username and password. Um, but this is just your your basic uh, remote file server. Um, so I'm already logged into root. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install the service. And we'll let this go. It's a very, very small service, uh, which is really nice. And it actually comes with a uh, 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 configuration file that's practically in English. That is also very nice. So we'll open up, open up the configuration file. Uh, the path is Etsy, and then it's right in the Etsy directory. So you don't have to go into uh, Etsy, VSTPD, and then uh, the configuration file it's right in the Etsy directory. So here is our configuration file. Uh, right now it's already going to be listening uh, for connections. Uh, now here uh, you can allow anonymous logins. By default it actually uh, doesn't have a directory for them uh, uh, to view files. So if you wanted anybody access to certain files, you certainly can enable that. Um, we'll go ahead and do that by uh, running the commands um, non root. And then you can uh, tell the daemon where the directory is that an anonymous user will log into. Uh, so in this case, we will go ahead and put it into uh, var server uh, FTP. Uh, so that's where the anonymous users will log into. Uh, also, if you had this on a local machine, you could allow local users to access the files for uh, you know whatever reason. Uh, here, this here, right enabled. By default, uh, a very secure FTP daemon does not uh, allow any user, even authenticated users, write um, uh, capabilities. Uh, so we'll uncomment that and then we'll go ahead and we'll allow that. Uh, here, I'll explain this one here. It's pretty self explanatory, but by default, um, VSTPD does not allow anonymous users to upload files. Uh, if you have this live on the internet, it's a very good thing to have. Uh, otherwise, uh, people over in uh, other countries are able to uh, just run random port scanners. And if they see that you have uh, your port 20 uh, open, then They'll just upload, ran try to upload random stuff. But if you have this uh, uh, disabled, uh, you're going to free a lot of space on your hard drive. Uh, people aren't going to have uh, immediate capability to do that. Uh, so we've got that. And then. Here you want to make a, a fairly important banner when users log in from the command line. Uh, generally they'll see this, otherwise um, some third party FTP uh, clients will also display the banner. Uh, you, you don't want to put welcome in your banner. If you put welcome in your banner, uh, that's basically giving anybody permission to access your server. Uh, even though you may not want them to, if a hacker tries to get into your server uh, and they succeed and you find out who they are, it's going to be difficult to prosecute them uh, because you, you had 
welcome in your banner. So, so you gave them permission to hack your server, basically. Um, so if you want, you can go ahead and uh, put something that, uh, just something basic. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and put this in here real quick. Pretty much all you need. I mean, you can go on and on and um, put it, details in there on the uh, acceptable use uh, use policy if if you have one uh, for the company or or whatnot. Um, that's pretty much the nature of the service. Uh, now, by default, on the local server, uh, this will use PAM to authenticate users. That's basically, if they have a user account on your server, they're gonna have access to your uh, FTP server as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll restart the service. Yeah. And then we'll check syslog just to make sure that there are no errors in the, uh, in the configuration file. Nope, uh, no serve or no uh, no errors on that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, try to access it. Uh, so let's do, uh, and then we'll open. So there's the banner that we put in. Uh, this is where you would put your uh, username. Uh, so on this server. I have a user with the username server1. We'll do that. And there we go. Uh, so this will be the user's home directory. And then uh, if you wanted to uh, log in as uh, an uh, anonymous user, you type that in. And then uh, it's no password. Uh, this says the directory that you are going to be in, and we forgot to create the directory. Uh, sometimes it will create it automatically for you, but it, in this case it hasn't. Uh, so we'll close uh, out of the FTP client and then we'll go ahead and we'll make that directory. I'm going to go one step back here. There we go. And then we'll go back into our FTP. There we are. We are in uh, our uh, var, SRV, and then FTP. So this is where a uh, anonymous user would would log into. So if you had something that you want to share with everybody. Uh, you would put them in here. Uh, this also has um, uh, secure FTP capabilities. If you remember in the configuration file, it had a uh, the very, very bottom. It had the uh, certif uh, certificate file. Um, so you do have the ability to do um, uh, secure FTP connections. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, if you wanted this live on the internet, all you'd have to do is open a port on your router and you, you uh, forward it to your uh, server's IP address and then you'd be good to go. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to 
feel free to ask me. Uh, put them in the comments below if you have any other services that you want some help on. Uh, also, just uh, message me or put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.